Hello, let's draw a three-point center circle spiral given the distance B between the spiral branches. The distances between the spiral branches are the same as the length B. The three centers of the spiral will be the three vertices of an equilateral triangle with the length exactly one-third of our length P. So to work out this third we will use Thales theorem to divide our length P into three equal parts. So to start, we will draw a diagonal line of any angle from the left side of our given length P. And now we are going to scribe three equal measurements on the diagonal line. Then we will join the third point to the right end of our line segment P. And from now on, we will draw parallel segments to the previous junction, as shown in the video through successive marks previously drawn. So now we are going to name one of the thirds, which will be the length of one side of our equilateral triangle. P over 3, as can be seen. So now, in the center of the drawing, we are going to mark the first center, which will be called number 1. From this center point, we will draw a horizontal line to the right, as can be seen here. So now, with our compass to the length of a third of P, we will transport this length onto the horizontal line. So now, with our compass centered on point 1, we scribe an arc to the left, which cuts our horizontal line at a point which will be the second center. So now, with our compass set on the second center, we will scribe another arc to the right, until it cuts our previously drawn arc. Where they intersect, this will be the third center point of the spiral. So joining these points, we will construct an equilateral triangle with vertices 1, 2 and 3, which are also the center points of the spiral as shown here. So now we are going to prolongate these sides of the equilateral triangle in the direction from points 3 to 2. From points 2 to 1, And finally, in the direction point 3 to 2, as shown here in the video. Here, I remind you that the directions of these prolongations are very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to draw the spiral properly. So now, finally, we are ready to draw the spiral. With our compass centered on point 1 and length 1, 3, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the adjacent prolongation at point A. So now with our compass centered on point 2 and set to the length 2A, we scribe an arc down until it cuts the prolongation at point B. And again, with our compass centered on point 3, and set to the length 3B, we scribe an arc until it cuts the prolongation at point C. Here you can see the spiral forming from three separate circle arcs, and the distance from point 3 to C is equal to our given length P. Theoretically, the spiral can go to infinity, and we will continue drawing it until we, will, we fill the screen. So to continue the spiral, with our compass centered on point 1 and length 1C, we scribe an arc to the left until it cuts the adjacent prolongation at point D. And now with our, with our compass set on point 2 and length 2D, we scribe an arc down until it cuts our prolongation at point E. 
we continue the process with our compass set on point three and length three E. We scribe another arc until it cuts our prolongation at point F. Again, with our compass set on point one and distance one F. We scribe another arc to the left until it cuts our horizontal line and we will call this point G. And with our compass centered on point 2 and length to G. So let me remind you to be very careful when setting the compass lengths so as to keep the spiral branches at equal distance P. With our compass 2G, we scribe an arc until it cuts our previous prolongation at point H. The typical errors in these exercises are not drawing the polygon correctly, setting our compass on the incorrect centers, wrong direction with the prolongations, etc. So now we have our three-point center circle spiral given the distance P between the spiral branches. Thank you. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel.